Hey guys, it's Sarah E and today I'm going to be doing a July Ipsy bag unboxing. So my bag for some reason has tape. So I'm not sure if that was from the, the from Ipsy or it accidentally opened or someone opened it and taped it back up. So hopefully everything is still inside. So I'm going to open that up. So the first thing in here is the Tarte Ready Set Radiant and I didn't I didn't receive this as part of the Ipsy bag. I actually had some points and I used it to redeem this skin mist. And it's about 7 milliliters or 0.24 fluid ounces. So it's pretty small, but it's a good testing size. Okay, so for this month's bag, we have this little egg. So a little yolk is a person, egg thing, and then outside. And then on the back is the same little egg, but it's but it's facing up. And it's a cute little bag. It looks pretty sturdy. Okay, so let's open it right up. And this is a little card that it comes with. Okay, so the first item I'm pulling out is from Tarte. And it is the Amazonian Clay Waterproof Waterproof Bronzer in Park Avenue Princess. And open that up. And it's a pretty nice sized bronzer. I'm gonna swatch that for you. So it looks like that. And I've never used one of Tarte's bronzers. And it claims to be waterproof. So little packaging it's very cute and I like how it's um, a pretty big trial size and it's not like one of those really small things so the next thing I'm pulling out is the I'm not sure how to say this but I think it's Ciate or Ciate I don't know London Wonderland gel coal liner looks like this you guys know how to pronounce that let me know down below and it seems like it's a double-sided eyeliner open this up packaging is pretty hard to open with my acrylics but While I was opening it, the top of one side did come off and it's a little angled brush. And then if I open the other side, there's the coal eyeliner. So let's test this out. So it looks pretty pigmented, it went on smoothly, very black. Now let's see what this brush does to it. Okay, so there we go. So I'm not sure what this brush is for exactly, maybe to smudge it. Because it is smudging it, but you can still see the line where I drew it on from. I like how pigmented it is and how dark. It's a nice black. So the next thing I'm 
taking out of our bag is this little round compact from Nomad. It's an illuminated highlighting powder in Stockholm Midnight Sun. So let's open that up. I dropped it so let's see if that broke or not so I finally got this open and this is what it looks like on the inside it does have the letters and C on it now let's swatch it So it's this one on the middle finger, and then so I don't know if you can see that right there. This is what it looks like right here. It's pretty hard to see. It's not this right here. That was the Tarte bronzer. It's the one right next to it, right here. And it's pretty hard to see so I'm not really liking it I feel like there's better highlighters out there and this one's not very highlighting it looks like powder foundation so I don't know I'll try it out on my face but from what I'm seeing so far it's not my favorite so the next thing on our bag in our bag is the Uthermal Avene Clean and Matte Mattifying Toner. So there is 25 milliliters in this and I'm gonna go ahead and open it. So it smells like like soap. It doesn't smell bad, it just smells like soap, like generic soap. So I'll try that out. I haven't used a toner in a while, so it'd be good to try that. So the last item in our bag is this Winky Luxe Double Matte Whip. Then it says angel food on it. I think that's the color, I'm not sure food and it's this very very like light pink so I'm gonna try this on not sure how it looks since it is a very light pink So this is what the product looks like and it is very like corally pink, very like it has an orange tint to it, maybe like salmon, 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 I don't know how to say it but um, like salmon, salmon colored and I don't really like this color on my lips. I'm not sure how it looks like on camera. On camera it might look a little bit better, but in person it is very orangey and light pink and it's it doesn't suit my my complexion very well. So yeah. Maybe I could use it for something else or give it away. Let's try to use a little as blush, see how that works out. Okay, so this is what it looks like as a br blush. I, I'm not wearing any other makeup, so I think this color suits me better as a blush than as a lipstick. And I'm sure that it'll look better if I have like my foundation and all that on and I can just blend it out but this product is more on the liquid side so it's not like creamy like when you put it on it 
feels very liquidy like it runs so personally I like those types of products I like the liquid lipsticks like the actual like feels liquidy instead of like those thick ones so I like the consistency of it but I do not like the shade as a lipstick itself. I would much rather use it as a blush or give it away to a friend. So that is all that came in our Ipsy bag today. We got the Minky Lux lipstick, we got the toner, we got the eyeliner with the brush on it. Our highlighter from Nomad, our bronzer from Tarte, and then the Tarte Ready Set Radiant Skin Mist that I bought or that I redeemed with my points. So I hope you guys enjoyed unboxing this Ipsy box with me. If you liked it, leave a like down below, comment. Tell me what you thought about these products and if you'd use them. Tell me what tell me about this bag. Tell me if you like the little egg yolk bag thing. So yeah. Thanks for watching.